Have you ever considered living or moving to Howell, Michigan? Well, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the map and take a look around and see what it looks like to live or move to Howell, Michigan. Hang tight. All right, guys, here we are in Howell, Michigan. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at the map here. So, uh, so here's Howell. I mean, this is just gonna give you an idea in relation to Southeast Michigan, right? Um, so if you can still see Howell there, I mean, it's, it's, it's a community right in the middle of, uh, let me see here, hold on. Let's get a little draw around here. Howell's right here. Now, this is a perfect little sleeper community. Now, if you're looking to, you'll work in say Flint or Lansing or Ann Arbor or Metro Detroit. I mean, you're sitting about 30 to 45, sometimes 55 minutes, depending on traffic. You know between these locations right so if you don't really know you know where you're going to be working you know this is a good spot to settle down right uh, so if i'm looking here we're going over to lansing i mean this is uh this is about 35 to 45 minutes right and this all depends on on where where you're going where, where you live in howell right um, if you're going this way i mean this is this is 96 you're taking this expressway into detroit or if you're going this way, you're going down to Ann Arbor. <clears throat> and this is about 35, 45 minutes, like I said, depending on where you live. Um, and if you're working up in Flint, you can go this way, right? So let's delete all those. We'll get a better look here as we go into... Let me see if I can select that arrow there real quick. We'll zoom in, uh, zoom in to Howell. So when you're looking at Howell, I mean, right, this is just the city of Howell. I mean... If you were looking at a you know another map, I mean, looking at like the school district of Howell, I mean that is a that is a you know a large area. I mean we're looking at uh, let me see if I can type this in here, um, Howell schools school district. Oops. I mean if you're looking at the Howell school district, I mean really the, the zip code for Howell is also you know encompasses this this large area, but. You know, if you're looking at, um, you know, if you live anywhere, you know, somewhere up up north here, if you're living in northern northern uh, Howell zip code, I mean, this could be a long commute if you're going into Metro Detroit, right? Because you're going, you know, if you're living up here, you're dra traveling on down this road, you know, which takes, you know, it's about 10, 10 minutes, 10 miles uh, even to get to this road here. And then if you're coming down here, you're also, oh, shoot, that's a, uh, messing up there a little bit looks like I zoomed in my screen there but like if you're living uh, let's say if you're living up here you know, just just for just for context I mean, if we select up here directions from you know let's say Cohocta up here and if you want to go into you know Novi to work right I mean you're taking about 42 minutes I mean this is without traffic right I mean if you're leaving uh, you know, during busy time, I mean, you could be spending at least an hour to get into town, right? The Howell area, I mean, if you were looking to move into this area, I mean, we have you know, lots of good lakes here, you know, for, for fishing or, or ice fishing. I mean, we don't always get really good ice here, but, you know, Thompson Lake is a popular place to go to. Uh, that's this area right here. You go down to uh, Lake Shemung here, or that's not Lake Shemung, that's Earl Lake, sorry. Uh, lake Shemung's right down here. You know, there's a couple of good lakes here. These are these are public lakes. They have public access. <clears throat> you know, Lake Shemung and Thompson Lake. And if you're looking for golf, I mean, this this Southeast Michigan. I'm gonna go on a satellite view here. This Southeast Michigan, this Howell area, I mean, is, is just an excellent area for golfing. Uh, let me see if we're looking a uh, golf course. Looks like we're a little slow loading up here, but I mean, we have some of the top courses in in uh, in Michigan here. I mean, if you're looking at uh, you know, Huntmore Golf Club, uh, which is which is down over here. You got uh, County Preserve. That's what I was looking for right here. I mean, you got this nice course up here. Um, if you also look down over here, you got uh, you know Huntmore. Like I said, you got Mystic Creek. You got uh, the Majestic. Majestic at uh, Lake Walden is another top tier course. These are all within within the Heartland uh, or within the Howell Howell. Heartland area. Now let's see if you look, um, you know, for things to do. Right, I mean, you have the uh, the Tanger Outlets, which is right off of 96. I mean, there's all kinds of good shopping you can find here. Uh, so once again, yeah, sorry, taking a minute there, but that's right off of the 96 exit. That's on the west side of Howell. Uh, you have a little private, um, you know, 
a little, little small little municipal airport here if you have a you know if you have a plane or whatever but um you know the one the one uh, you know the nice thing you know, about about howell right you have you have the um you have the the home depot you got lowe's you got the walmart you got meyer one thing you don't have here which is which is down in brighton just down the road i mean you have the the costco right but that's still only 20 minutes away you know the nice thing about nice thing about howell is they don't have a lot of the um you know they don't it doesn't get congested as much as say as as say uh, brighton does right I mean, if you go down into brighton you know some of this uh you, know, you head down on Grand River here. It, this gets really busy, really busy, especially during the holiday time when you're trying to get around there. Uh, we're, we're Howell. It doesn't have as much of that, much of that issue. But you know what we do is we, you know, around rush hour time, we certainly get a little backup around, uh, you know, like some of these major, major roads here. I mean, this is Latson here in 59. You know, this gets really busy there. Um, you know, Michigan Ave. Oh, sorry, I thought it was, I thought I was moving the map there. You know, Michigan Ave. This is the main road here. Let's just go back into this later. It might work. This is Michigan Ave here. You know, this can get pretty, pretty hairy as far as traffic goes, especially if you're, you know, coming off this, um, you're coming off this exit here um, on on Pinckney Road, and you're trying to take a left down Mason Road, and there's all this traffic coming south on Michigan right out of uh, downtown Howell. There, uh, that that could become an issue. Um, and some of the, the better parts of Howell here, right? We have the uh, the downtown area. Um, I don't know if you're into if you're into these, you know, nice um, you know boutique shops, right? We have the uh, it showed up there for a minute there. You know, the M Street Bakery. I mean, that's a very popular place. I remember there was some times where there was you know, just people were standing in line to try to get into this place, right? I mean, it's all kinds of you know. I'm not into the fancy drinks and you know cupcakes and stuff like that but my wife sure is but uh um but anyways that's a nice place to hang out I me mean, if you're in the you know you're into the um into the breweries and stuff like that there's a few of those down there i can give you a quick um quick zoom downtown here but this is kind of the the the, the main hub i mean this is right right in downtown howell right i mean you have the uh, the diamond steakhouse is popular you know you have the uh the heart of michigan place uh, just right down the road here um, you know the, the library is just down the road over here. You know one of my favorite places actually is this um, uh, Gus's Breadsticks, which is you know, it's right over here somewhere. I might try to find a picture of that somewhere as well. Uh, but if you go right downtown, right right down the road here, you can find the you know we got the, uh, the the library and stuff down here. But as far as you know, if you were if you were to you know the one one downside of, of Howell, at least for us, right? I mean, there's not a major delivery hospital here i mean there's there's several hospitals as you probably saw there i mean you have the um you know you have the uh, the trinity health hospital here and there's there's some clinics down there and uh down there in brighton you know without the sake of you know making you dizzy here you know there's some places down there uh mountain white mount mount brighton ski resort i mean it's not much of a mountain there but it's a, it's a place to go to spend some time um, but you'll, you'll find some you'll find some you know good places. I mean, we, we stop at the uh, the Kroger lot, right? I mean, this is about 10, 15 minutes where we're at. Um, uh, where was I getting at? But anyways, the uh, the residential, right? The the housing, right? I mean, this is downtown Howell. You'll find a nice lot of nice uh, li li nice older homes. I mean, a lot of them are, you know, there's some uh, there are some late 18, 1800s, but you know, primarily there's early 1900 homes, you know, within the city limits of Howell. And one thing to remember, which I'll, I'll, I'll certainly break down into a into a future video, right? But if you're living in the city of Howell, I mean, your taxes are going to be considerably higher. So keep that in mind when you're looking when you're looking around Howell. And, and remember, I'm a licensed agent. You know, shoot shoot me a text, give me a call, uh, drop me an email uh, anytime. Um, I'm, I'm here for you days, nights, and weekends. But anyways, there, there's some nice new communities going on around here in Howell. You know, one of the newest ones down here is. Uh, uh, where is that now? It used to be a, it used to be the old golf course, right? You know, if you're looking for looking for newer construction, right? You have the the Marion Oaks, and this is uh, primarily by Capital Custom Homes. But, but I mean, if you're looking to get out of the city city life, I mean, Howell is a wonderful area to be. I mean, there's so many places with you know lots of acreage. I mean, places you can put a pole barn in or or hunt out of your backyard, right? Um, there's a lot of places in Howell that, that you can find that. 
um, you know as far as you know how how is breaking broken down right what they have is there's the you know city of Howell right here but then also what you have are the, the different townships right you have you know Howell Township but it's you know kind of you know right in this area sorry about my drawing I'm, I'm using my finger pad here so it's not the best you know you got Ose Osceola Township up in here uh, you got M Marion Township down over here and then you got kind of Genoa Township over here right this isn't a this isn't an exact depiction, but if you're living in one of these one of these townships here, I mean, shoot, your your taxes will be considerably less, and you, your your housing affordability goes goes way up, right? I mean, just because you're not you're paying about 40% less in taxes, right? So these are some nice areas to be in. But like I said, I mean, if you're living in some of these some of these areas that are that are outside of um, you know away from the major expressways, you might have a longer commute into work, right? So you got to consider that when you're when you're looking for a place to live. But like I said, I mean, I, I focus a lot of my area in this Livingston County area, but I, I do work all of uh, all of Southeast Michigan. So I mean, if there's a if there's a place you're looking to, looking to get into, I mean, if I'm figuring you know Southeast Michigan, right? That's I can pull up a map here too. This this will show you kind of an idea of what Southeast Michigan is looking looking like. But here's also a quick drawing, right? I mean, if we're looking at Southeast Michigan, uh, you know, it's maybe, maybe a little bit of Lansing there, but. Uh, this is kind of how that looks, right? I mean, we're looking in this general area, you know, southeast Michigan. I, I don't do a whole lot down in Detroit here, but I do know some, uh, I do know some, uh, you know, rock star agents down there, so I could certainly, uh, you know, guide you to the right person there. But, you know, my primary area, area is this southeast Michigan, right? But yeah, that's all. It's, if you have any questions, you'll know, certainly feel free to reach out. I mean, I'd love to, love to help you. You I mean you have to be the person that reaches out to me, right? You could send me a text, shoot me a call, <laughs> shoot me a call, send me a text, drop me an email, um, or even in the description below, uh, you can set up a Zoom call. Thanks for your time.